I would have typed this out, but I thought recording a video might be more efficient, and I haven't made any videos in a while. I know you're asking about Meta specifically, but I think since you posed a question in regard to what we're seeing in large caps, we should start out by looking at the four major indexes and look at the daily charts on the higher time frame and just try to objectively look at what's happening up until now. I avoid terms like bear trap or bull trap and other such descriptions. You probably never saw me talk in those terms. I do that to remain objective and partly for psychology reasons. I prefer to just talk in terms of what the trend is, what the pattern is, where support and resistance is, and what recent price action has done. Yes, you could call it a bear trap, but in truth, bulls and bears are trapped all the time. It's a constant battle between bulls and bears, and on almost a daily basis, somebody's getting trapped. Of course, some events, some days, have a much greater effect than others, but I try not to get too involved in thinking about that stuff. I'm careful about the descriptions I use and just focus on the chart and where support and resistance is and what price action is doing. So let's go through the daily charts on the SPY, the NASDAQ, the Dow, and the Russell and get a sense as to what's happening since this will affect all large caps that we might be trading. So here we have the SPY since the beginning of the year and all that happened this year is we have an uptrend. It's an uptrend because we have higher highs and higher lows. I have connected the most prominent lows since January 1st, which creates an uptrend line. And what happened recently is we broke out and made a new high. And just recently this week, we had a pullback below horizontal support. And then on Friday, we had a strong outside reversal day, and it put us back above horizontal support. That's a bullish sign overall. The trend is bullish, breaking new highs was bullish, and the fact that we reversed on Friday is bullish. Yes, you could say bears got trapped, but as I commented already, I don't worry about that too much, and I try to stay away from that kind of language because we don't know what's going to happen next week. We could pull back down below horizontal support again. We could go test the uptrend line, or we could continue higher, but overall the main trend is up, and I don't think anybody can argue with that. Here we have the Qs, and it's similar structure to the SPY. We have an uptrend because we're making higher highs and higher lows. We broke out to new highs in May, and on Friday we broke horizontal support, and we got close to a possible uptrend line. But then we reversed, and we closed above the horizontal support again. So same thing, you could say bears got trapped, but I would just say we broke horizontal support on Friday, which is general, generally a lower volume choppy kind of day, but we resoundingly closed back above horizontal support, so overall structure is still bullish, and I'd still be looking for longs in coming days unless structure breaks down in the future. Here we have the Dow, and the chart looks different than the others, but it's still the same idea. The differences here are we had much more, much more of a pronounced pullback over the past few days, almost back to the uptrend line, but overall since the beginning of the year, we have an uptrend. We briefly broke horizontal resistance to make new highs, and then we had a hard pullback to a possible trend line. But on Friday, we had a resounding reversal day, closed at high, so the chart is still bullish. It's been bullish all year. At this point, I would still be looking for long entries going forward. The Russell has performed the weakest of the group recently, as we did not break to new highs recently in May, and we didn't come close to testing any horizontal support level or the uptrend line. The trend this year is clearly up since we have higher highs and higher lows, and the same thing, I would just be looking for long entries. Now, getting to your meta question, I think your analysis is good. Since earnings, meta has been on its heels, and the chart does not look as strong as the market indexes. Generally, you probably notice I was short biased on this this past week, but at this point, I'm uncertain. <clears throat> the way I see it is on the daily, we attempted a gap fill after earnings, to the downside, then we rebounded and did another gap fill, this time to the upside. We came to the downtrend line resistance, and I thought we would then break horizontal support, but it broke the downtrend line, however, stayed range bound into horizontal levels. Then on Friday, we broke horizontal support and reversed. So we could call that a bear trap, but all I would say is it broke support and then reversed. So at this point in time, the best I can say is I'm uncertain as to the price action of Meta, and all I would be paying attention to mostly right now are the horizontal levels on the higher time frame. It may break 
horizontal support next week and head down, or we could test horizontal resistance and then have a pretty decent rally if it breaks through that upper horizontal level. But recent price action has put upward pressure on meta stock. Since this is a messy chart right now, maybe the best solution here is to look for cleaner and clearer charts.